watching Coast Life and check out these two amazing guests I have with me today. We have Mike and Mark with the Lewis Baseball Club. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. Of course. So check out their, their uniforms, by the way. These aren't your average like MLB looking uniforms, right? Not what you're going to see all the time. You guys do some more vintage takes on baseball. Can you tell me just a little bit about that? What does that mean? Well, we play by 1864 rules. And that means that we uh, don't use gloves. So occasionally there's a broken finger. And since you can't have a glove in the field, what you can do is all actually catch the ball on a bound for an out. So okay. that kind of evens out. And sometimes you have a really good hit. And you're like, man, that would be a great hit today. But they get it on the bound, and you're out. So uh, another big thing you can't do that people do a lot today, obviously, is running through first base on a hit. Mm. So if it's going to be a close play, you just run as hard as you can towards first and go right through. Well, what they can do back then is tag you out. So sometimes a lot of guys, especially on their first at bats or something, they'll get tagged out. And okay. it's, it's a uh, kind of a sad way to go out. So. It is. <laughs> now, you mentioned some broken fingers. I'm guessing, is this one of the reasons that baseball rules have changed recently? Although you've never broken any fingers. I haven't yet. I haven't yet. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm the newbie. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm playing it safe so far. Mm -hmm. So Very it's cool. great. So yep. what else makes it different? The rules, but also even just like the baseball the looks baseball a little different. A little bit different, yeah. So it has a different kind of stitching. It has what's called a lemon peel stitch, hmm. uh, as opposed to that continuous seam that you're used to seeing with the red stitching on mm -hmm. a contemporary baseball. It's just a little bigger. It's not much bigger than a baseball, but it's and it's a little softer. Okay. So, but it still starts off pretty hard, and when it's coming right at you on a line drive, it's pretty scary yeah I was messing around with it earlier I wouldn't want that coming at me I don't know how fast you guys throw but at all really um, so tell me why Lewis Baseball Club I'm gonna guess you both are baseball fans we were talking some MLB earlier but why vintage baseball why did you decide to do this he got me interested into it like yeah. I always thought I didn't have enough time I always had stuff to do but he said just come out and play mm -hmm. and once you came out and play you got addicted so it was really cool to be and see a part of vintage baseball in Lewis so right. I was happy to be a part of it great and other people can be a part of it very soon you have a really great event coming up August 26 tell us about that well we got our baseball at the beach festival mm -hmm. and we've been doing it for a few years but this is the first time we're going to have some food trucks and some live music and really make it a festival yeah. so when we play at the villages at five points on the big field off old orchard road and it's right on the bike trail mm -hmm. so if you're biking in driving in it's a great spot and it should be a great day it all kicks off at 11:30. very exciting and i bet a lot of baseball fans a lot of families are going to want to come out can you just tell us what you're most excited for with this event i think most exciting is just to, to see and be there mm -hmm. just to like actually like see the rules like because it's not typical normal baseball so it makes it very exciting and it's a fast game mm -hmm. so it's a it's like indoor lacrosse for baseball so it's very quick i think a lot of people are going to be looking forward to this um if someone also is looking forward to maybe playing some baseball from the the old rules the vintage rules can they still join lewis baseball club or and how can they learn more sure they can go to our website which is lewisbaseball.org mm -hmm. they can check us out on facebook uh, email us at lewisbaseball at gmail.com. Uh, there's always spots. We're always looking for guys. And uh, we probably don't have a practice coming up this year, but if you get your name on the list, we'll get you in there. Right. Should they practice by like really like, I don't know, with so holding something hard in their hands? Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd want to join, but the, the broken fingers is a little scary. Just come out and have fun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And we have really fun. don't use gloves. So <laughs> some guys bring a glove saying, oh, I thought you were kidding. No, yeah. But we, yeah, no. Don't bring a glove. No. Bring like cleats, right? Some pants. Cleats pants, yep. Leave the yeah. glove at home. Leave the glove at home. Sounds good. All right, August 26th, don't forget a really amazing event for the whole family. Even if you've never played baseball before, we have some more events telling you about when Coast Life is back.